God bless you. I'm Assistant Pastor Terrence White Jr. from Word of Deliverance Ministry. We thank you for joining us here on A Quicken Word. Today we'll have discussion on uh, social topics in this world that affect us and how it applies to uh, the Bible in our lives as Christians. We hope you are enlightened. I'm joined here with our Minister of Music, DeAndre Johnson. Yes, glad to be here. It's been a while. Uh, we thank you for those of you who have watched our previous videos. Uh, we plan on uh, we have a better production team now, and so we plan on coming to you more often, more frequent, uh, with topics that are are on the now. So, with that being said, uh, we're going to be coming from Second Thessalonians, uh, starting at the second chapter, starting at verse nine, and it reads. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. And I think... Uh, we we chose this because it allows us to spread into so many different topics about how the world has become very delusional. Uh, it, it, so much has happened since the last uh, our last broadcast and our last filming, and we want to uh, give leeway to kind of delve into those different uh, avenues. Hey man, hey man. Uh, Praise God for for being here with you again, brother. Uh, one one of the first things I, I like to dive right into it. One of the first things I want to talk about, and and I know I bug your ear about it all the time, is, is Black Lives Matter. <laughs> you talk about strong delusion. Black Lives Matter is one of the most racist things that has happened in American history. I mean, you talk about coming from uh, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. marching. I mean, you know, uh, marching in Selma, people being told they can't eat in a restaurant because they're black, having to go through the back door, being sprayed with fire hoses, get, having dogs sicked on you. To you fast forward 40, 50 years, now we got brothers with dreadlocks and do-rags, gold teeth, mm -hmm. pants hanging down, cussing, yelling, tearing up everything, and now black lives matter. Mm -hmm. You know, 90 I believe it's ninety three percent of black males that are killed are killed by other black men. Yep. But Black Lives Matter. Yeah, it's it's such a, a, a hypocritical uh, statement, uh, and and they get offended if you say all lives matter. Oh, yeah. You know, it's not it's not just black folk that's getting shot. They they one of the video there was a video not uh, long after the the whole not too long ago, about, I believe it was a white cat getting shot in, the, I believe it was in the back mm -hmm. by a white cop. Yeah. And of course, that never made national news. No, 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 no. No outcry for that person. Yeah. Uh, and so th there's, there's a lot of hi hypocrisy here. I actually uh, stumbled upon their website, which I didn't know that they had one yeah. uh, for a while. Uh, and to... <laughs> It's, it's it's so crazy. So, Black Lives Matter was started by these two women who just happen to be homosexuals. Mm -hmm. There's a third woman who's a, a feminist, but basically all of them are feminists. And basically, they a, a feminist now is a, a a woman who who really usurps the, the the authority of God. They usurp the authority of man. Mm -hmm. Can't nobody control them. You know, sister girl, that type of person. Yeah. But that's not scriptural. No. 
And so we have people, uh, you're being led by people that don't believe in God. Yeah. That's why this movement isn't going to go anywhere. No, and you know, one thing that people forget is this actually spawned out of the, the hands up, don't shoot hmm. with Michael Brown. Hmm. Now, this guy, and, and, and me and you viewed a video of this guy, you know, uh, on one part of the segment, you have a man talking about uh, – <laughs> Michael Brown is out spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. And while this guy is talking at his funeral, uh, Michael Brown spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. He's a, a man after God's own heart. He said, one day my my name will be remembered. And then on the other part of the video, you see him roughhousing a, 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 a the cashier at, mm -hmm. yeah, at, at his store, snatching cigars off of the register, handing his homie, his life matters too, handing his homie some cigars mm -hmm. and, and, and roughhousing this guy. But he, he supposedly, the cops were just hunting black people that day and spotted that one black guy in, right. in, in uh, Ferguson, Missouri, <laughs> and decided to shoot him. Yeah, and, and, and let's, 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 let, me, let me say this. Black people, we really need to, to, to really, if you're going to say that black lives matter, explain to me mm -hmm. how, I believe it was last year or at least a year before, yeah. there was 75 people that got shot in Chicago over yep. a weekend. That's twenty five people a day. I don't remember the the parade, the not the parades, but the but the outcry, the marches, mm -hmm. the, the 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 picketing. I don't recall. Uh, I don't recall the the, <laughs> the Sharptons or the the Jacksons <laughs> getting out there. I, I don't recall any of that. I hate to sound so blunt, but Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson are not going around in Negroes. <laughs> They do not want to be seen. You're not going to see them in inner city Chicago. You ain't going to see Barack Obama. He's from Chicago. Right. He ain't going around them Negroes neither. No, it, it, it's it's total hypocrisy. That's right. And Black Lives Matter, but but we say we don't say nothing about the abortion. No, nope. that, that's in our in our rampant in our community. Single parent homes. Single parent homes. Teen pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Drug usage. Imprisonment. So you, you talk about a system that's set up for people to fail, but it's not, you can't say it's the government system. Mm -hmm. It's the system that's built in the culture. Mm -hmm. You know, going back to these women, you don't need a man. You know, you can do bad all by yourself. And, and, and if you look at it, this, this, this type of thing is allowed to grow because of the church is not addressing it. Wow, yes sir. You talking about black churches. That 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 uh, if you if you see Barack Obama go to Chicago, he always ends up popping up in the church mm -hmm. doing his little lying speeches he likes to do, and then black folks just yeah, Obama, I'm, I'm you know, sing Amazing Grace. Yeah, but going back to the scripture, it says it talks about God sending strong delusion. Yes, and so when you desire to be deceived. Not that these people wake up in the morning and say, hey, I want to be tricked. But the actions that you show, show that you want to be deceived. Mm -hmm. You want to have a lifestyle that, that, that shows you, you you have no godliness in you. Mm -hmm. yeah, it says they receive not the love of the truth. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the truth. Speaking, you, you hinted on something, and I wanted to uh, make sure we got this in, in, in this uh, edition. Uh, on the Black... Lives Matter website. Mm -hmm. If you look at it, <clears throat> when I looked at it, it's very. Uh, whoever did the graphics off the chain, I, I, I like that aspect of it, the technical aspect of it. Mm -hmm. But the substance aspect of it, in regards to what they're supposedly fighting for, they're supposedly fighting. This this came up come came about yeah. when. Uh, uh, the men in our community, the black men in our community, being shot down mm -hmm. by uh, white officers. Yeah. Okay, but when you look at the website, it doesn't really talk much about men at all. Look, I'm looking at nope. the website right now. It says our history. Correct. Not history. Mm -hmm. Our history. Mm -hmm. H e r s t o r y. Right. Right. It's very centered on women and women's liberation, women's uh, 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 rights. What it's it's very effeminate in nature. It does. It has. It doesn't. Nowhere in that website does it talk about men. Uh, getting back in the household, being the head of the household, being um, but they talk about transgender. Oh yeah, they got a section on there uh, uh, for for homosexuality, yes, they but they have nothing about propping uh, or getting the black man back into his his house. Where have they gone? Well, we know that there are a lot of them in jail, uh, uh, drugs, this, that, and the other. But there's and and really because there's no a. a 
addressing uh, the root cause of this, which is sin, mm-hmm. you're not going to. St- th- this can go on for years, like the, uh, the war on drugs. Yeah, somebody. Uh, it was one of the news channels. Somebody asked the, 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 the one of these Black Lives Matter people, "Why don't y'all go to inner city Chicago?" The guy didn't have an answer because he ain't going there. Mm-hmm. You're not going to go where the root of the problem is. As long as you have somebody to blame and make you a victim, then you're good to go. Oh, he's like this because uh, he, you know he was handed. I had I had one gentleman told me, well, what the cops are doing is they're dropping off drugs and guns in these neighborhoods, and uh, these folks don't have a choice. So you don't have a choice. You, the cop, let's let's imagine that this mysterious police officer with the surplus of guns and cocaine. Uh, who has enough time to drop off guns in, in inner city of Chicago. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's imagine that was true. So you're telling me your brain does not work beyond the idea that um, uh, 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 I need to go over here and grab this box of guns, shoot, rob, pillage, and sell crack. Right. It's your decision. But the church is not focused on that. Mm-hmm. You got these these uh, black church leaders out, uh, 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 you know, blaming police officers, our president blaming police officers. When you get to the point of people who are who 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 are hired to keep law and order in our society, now they're blamed for the disorder. Mm. That's a problem. Absolutely. And when you got the churches backing it up, that's a problem. Right. Yeah. The word says, "What the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty." And so we can see that God is not in this because there's no spirit there. There's no life there. Everything that they're talking about is dead. Everything that they're talking about is stuff that they've talked about twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty years ago. Mm-hmm. Are, do you mean to tell me that we have not progressed in the civil rights mo- uh, movement since the sixties, even before then? Mm-hmm. What is what has transpired? What has happened? We have we. More men are not are now. When I'm I'm speaking black men, mm-hmm. you have more single parent, mainly women, households than there were back then. Yep. You have uh, more people, uh, black men that were working. Nobody's addressing these things. Nobody's saying that that we need to get back uh, to the Bible. Let's let's get back to what uh, God said. Uh, uh, Second Chronicles uh, uh, chapter seven verse fourteen says, "If my people who are called by, by my, my name, name shall humble, humble themselves, themselves. Yep. And, and and pray, seek my face, uh, then will I hear from heaven mm-hmm. and, and, and heal your land." But so there's no healing there because nobody's searching, nobody's seeking mm-hmm. the, the the God of the Bible. We have, speaking of uh, branching out into other things, mm-hmm. we have all of these other things that are de- are, are uh, being a distraction yep. to actually hearing what God said. Such as, uh, more brothers now uh, believe that that. Uh, Islam, yep. the nation of Islam, is is the way. Yeah. Uh, or, or they get into this this insane, angry, black Hebrew, Israelite oh, God. nonsense because they're not hearing the true word of God. They're hearing doctrines of devils. Mm-hmm. And it's it's the, it's taking people away from uh, the actual truth. Exactly. And let me go back to something you mentioned, the civil rights. Hmm. What civil right are black people fighting for now? What You know, every 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 uh, seems like every quarter of a year they got a new black people need to try to make it out movie. The maids, the butlers, the, the you know escaping <laughs> yeah. slavery. We ain't slaves no more. Uh-huh. 12 you years know slave. that poor LeBron James. They just holding that brother back. <laughs> He'll never make anything of himself. And that Oprah Winfrey, that sister right there, they, she'll never make anything with her life because those white people are just holding her back. Mm-hmm. They won't let her make a dime, brother. <laughs> Beyonce right. knows when oh. is anybody going to hear her music? Right. They just holding back that white man is holding up back brother mm-hmm. so so where is the civil rights what what are we fighting for the the the, the we have opportunity to do anything in this nation anything yep. you put your mind to you can do in this nation mm-hmm. you might have certain obstacles depending on where you came from or whatever you're gonna have obstacles that's life right but for you to stop and blame after you spent your life committing crimes and and and, and doing all these types of injustices milking the governmental system section eight food stamps uh child support child mm-hmm. support child support uh what whatever whatever other thing they can come up with to to first off keep the black father out of the house mm-hmm 
and to continue this cycle. Okay, so I have a young man that doesn't have a father in the house, mm-hmm. young black man. Okay, so now he doesn't have that strong male uh, influence on his life. But he's more likely to go back to go to prison mm-hmm. because of that. Doesn't make an excuse for him, right? But the actuality is that that might happen. Correct. Yeah, I actually grew up without my father in the household, right? And but I was not the 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 one that went and sold drugs. I was not the one who 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 committed crimes. I those things are choices of that individual. And I chose now it was a great help to me that my mother and my grandmother took me to church a lot. Mm-hmm. So uh, I I got Christian concepts and and godly things within me very early. Yeah. But you still, regardless of whether you went to church or not, you still know it ain't good to go rob no stores. You still have choice. You still have, absolutely. Oh, well, you can't lean on that crutch forever. Using that, uh, what's that guy named from the 60s or 70s, the devil made me do it. Uh, 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 the drag queen. But, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but going, going back to 2 Thessalonians, uh, verse 11 it says and for this cause God shall send them strong delusion, delusion that they should believe a lie that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness mm. and that's what we are seeing in this society is this overwhelming desire to have pleasure in that which is unrighteous mm-hmm. you're talking about uh, what's that man's name Bruce Jenner he wants to call himself Caitlin you know, they're giving this man an award for being a hero. When you got men and women uh, who, who who put on the uniform of the red, white, and blue, go overseas and die for this country, and they're not considered heroes, but a grown man wakes up thinking he's a woman one day, and now he's a hero. He getting what, a courage award for, 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 for what? For mm-hmm. what? Right. You know, th- 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 this is strong delusion. When you have a person, this is one of my favorite topics, by the way. When you have a person... With such a low degree of morality, like Hillary Rodham Clinton, oh boy. who could stand up, commit high treason, tell lie upon lie upon lie, and she's running for office. This woman should be put in prison. She It's people who are in prison now probably serving 20 to life that have a higher moral degree than her. <laughs> <laughs> There's something wrong with... I. I I baffle. I, I'm dumbfounded. I'm stupefied. I can't even. Uh, I, the words escape me to actually uh, convey my thoughts on this. How you can listen and know what she has done and still be supportive, but this is the era of strong delusion. Strong delusion. I'm looking at Second Timothy chapter three, <clears throat> where Paul says this. Know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure hmm. more than lovers of God. Yes. And that, that goes right into what you were saying, that people, and, 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 and quite frankly, most people have no idea what's going on politically nope. in, 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 in this landscape. You know, what's sad is that when a person votes based on their their race. Wow. Yes. When somebody could get you to vote. I was looking at one of the newscasts. I think it was the Clinton News Network, mm-hmm. uh, CNN. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> it was one person talking about how to gain the black vote, mm. how to gain the white vote, how to gain... I never wake up in the morning thinking about how black I am. Mm. I never wake up, yawn, and say, I'm a black man today. I never do that. Mm-hmm. Because my concerns are providing for my family, right. uh, to, uh, uh, maintaining my job, uh, 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 increasing my, my my economic status. I mean, uh, 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 living everyday life, serving God, doing what I'm supposed to do. I never think about my race until it becomes an issue. Right. When somebody else brings your race to the forefront. There was a video of uh, Morgan Freeman. He was doing an interview okay. with this this guy and the guy mentioned uh he mentioned uh black history month mm-hmm. and morgan freeman said i don't want a black history month 
He said, why does my history have to be relegated to a month? He said, do you want a white history month? And the guy's retort was, well, I'm Jewish. He said, do you want a Jewish history month? He said, well, he said, no, I don't. He said, so how do you get past racism? He said, stop talking about it. Mm. Stop talking. Stop making everything racist. Somebody mm-hmm. sneeze is racist. Mm-hmm. Somebody eat a sandwich is racist. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, look, I was telling my wife, I said, a white man, if I got on TV and I said all this stuff about black people, nobody would have a problem with it because I'm black. But if a white man said the same exact thing, no matter how true it was, he would be considered racist. Right. And it's interesting, even talking about race, race hasn't always been this big brouhaha. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, People were uh, basically thought of based on their nationality. Mm -hmm. Uh, Even even in in the Bible, it talks about where they were from. Uh, You were a Canaanite because you came from From Canaan. Canaan. You could have been any color, but as long as you were from Canaan, Mm -hmm. then you were considered a Canaanite. It's only very recent... uh, in history, I want to say like the 1800s. I could be wrong on that. Don't quote me. But that's when racism and race was interjected into uh, the mainstream mindset. And so now we have this this thing where everybody like steps on eggshells, mm-hmm. uh, not to say, not to offend, uh, because I don't want to talk about this subject because this person's black. I don't want to talk about this subject because this person's white. How come we can't just love the truth and get to the bottom of the matter? Exactly, exactly. You know, we have um, such a high degree of ignorance when it comes to to history. Hmm. When you talk about slavery, when somebody mentions slavery, the first thing that comes to people's mind is black people. Hmm. Oh, we going oh, we gonna make it out of slavery. Oh, hair tub. You know, blacks were not the only slaves in America. Correct. There was white slaves in America. Mm-hmm. There was what they call Native American slaves in America. Mm-hmm. Native Americans owned slaves. There were black people that owned slaves. Mm-hmm. Plus, today there ain't no slaves. Mm-hmm. So why are we still trying to get out of slavery? We got Django popping up and the maids. And, <laughs> you know, we have. it has to come a point to where truth becomes our banner. Right. To where, look, it don't matter what I, what, what race I am. God made me that race. My aim should be to serve God and to please to please God and to serve Christ. That's it. I mean, uh, any church that that's preaching this racist doctrine, this Black Lives Matter doctrine, when they're going after your race, you should not trust them. When somebody says they're they're going to do this for the black community, I don't want to know what you're going to do for the black community. I don't want to know what you're going to do for the white community. What I want to know is what you're going to do for our country in a whole. Mm-hmm. What you're going to do, and are you going to glorify God in what you do? Yes. Uh, <laughs> we have to get back to the Bible. It's it's so mandatory. It's so crucial right now. Uh, the country is being torn in different directions. And because people are not praying, because people uh, have their own desires, which are carnal in nature, uh, they have no reverence, no fear of God whatsoever, then we're just like uh, in the book of Judges where people were doing what was right in their own eyes. And so we have different concepts now of what's right and, you know, truth is this gray area now quote unquote uh, because people don't want to live holy yeah and they have excuse after excuse well my mama this and I grew up this and it's it's always the victim mentality mm-hmm. it's always I, listen when you leave this earth there will be no excuse if you do not accept Jesus now yeah you won't be a, every knee going to bow every tongue is going to confess and you don't want to be the one, and and this is part of us being ministers, yes. to preach the gospel. Let it go forth. Uh, once this gets edited and, and, and it goes on YouTube or wherever it's going to go, we pray that in earnest that you sit and really listen. The scriptures that we bring forth, we pray that you honestly go get a Bible and re- read it. Mm-hmm. So it, wasn't, it, it won't be like Minister Johnson or Minister White said. No, no, no. This is what the Bible, what the Bible says. says. Yeah, you know, and that goes back to the foundation of truth. Mm. 
people have moved so far away from truth. You have political correctness now. Yep. You can't call a spade a spade now. You know, you got to uh, have some type of glorified way to say stuff because you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. It's amazing to me the society we have where you can do everything that is offensive, but you can't say anything that would offend somebody. <laughs> I'm offended by a grown man walking around dressed like a woman when God, my God, the creator of heaven and earth, made you a man and you walking around saying, well, that wasn't good enough. My name ain't Frank, now it's Frederica. That's a problem. I, I'm offended by that. Mm -hmm. I'm not offended by somebody calling a fat person fat. I'm sorry. I, I'm fat. I need to lose weight. That's not the worst thing to happen in America is somebody being called black. I'm black. I was born black. I'm not offended by somebody calling me black. What offends me is when you got hypocrite preachers getting behind pulpits lying to people. Mm. When you, I mean, when when did it become okay to not try to win souls to Christ? Brother, it, it, yeah, it, it, it's it's bad. It's bad, and we we come from a ministry where uh, our pastor, who just happens to be this young man's father. <laughs> uh, uh, he's prophesied that things are what were going to get worse, mm -hmm. um, and and on, on all fronts. And we we have to be vigilant. We have to be ready. Uh, there is clearly an agenda with respect to homosexuality. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking at 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 I, I, any sitcom has oh, yeah. to have some sort of uh, comic relief from a, a, a homosexual. Cartoon. Um, cartoons. Uh, the new Iron Man is supposedly supposedly a, a black woman. What now. was her name? Mickey Mickey Brown. Uh, hold on, I'm, I, I'm my Puka it Johnson. This is it's NASA. You know, we can't just have Iron Man. You can't think of a hero. And, and this is something I can't stand. I was looking uh, at. And keep your thought. Riri. R Riri what? Riri Williams. I Riri think Williams. That's more racist than anything. The name. <laughs> she couldn't have a name. Barbara Barbara Jackson. Somebody. To, Riri Williams. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. Black people always fighting for something. You know, stop fighting for everything. Just go do something. Mm. Stop fighting. What are you fighting for? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it, it's amazing. Uh, I was looking at the Olympics and the young lady. She swam fast. She was a swimmer. Simone something. It's two Simones. You got Simone Biles and you got another Simone. I can't remember her last name. What really bothered me is when she swam and she beat everybody. And the first thing to come out there about, you're the first African American woman to ever stop. You're an American. Why why does her race matter? This is significant. You are the first African American woman to medal in an individual event in swimming. What does that mean to you, Simone? Yeah, it means a lot. I mean, this medal is not just for me. It's for a whole bunch of people who have came before me and have been inspiration to me. Maritza, Colin, and it's for all the people after me who can't, who believe they can't do it. And I just want to be inspiration to others that you can do it. This team has been remarkable throughout these Olympic Games. What is it like to contribute in the way you just did? It means a lot. I mean, I definitely want to go out there and swim fast for Team USA. I mean, having everybody swim fast makes me want to swim fast, so it's really great to be on such an amazing team. She didn't do that event good because she was black. If it was in that case, <laughs> right. if it was in that case I'd have gold medals around my neck because I'm black. I can just go do everything because I'm black. Yeah. She, That's, she it's this woman trained. She, she went out there and worked mm -hmm. hard. Mm -hmm. She went out there and swam miles and miles and miles. You know, I mean, she would swim me under the table any day of the week. Mm -hmm. She could probably give me a half a pool head start and beat me. Not because she's black, because I'm black. So, I mean, I would be able to beat her, right? Right. But it's because she trained. But the first thing they say, you're the first African-American woman. Look, get past that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be the first African American to do nothing. I want to be. I want to be honored that God blessed me to be able to do it right. in the first place. Right. No matter what it is. Right. If I read a, a if I read a, a, a 150 page book in five minutes flat, I don't want to be because I'm black. I want it because I, I I had the ability to study. God gave me that that opportunity to do that thing. Mm -hmm. But we have to get past this deception that your race is so important. You know, get past that. We're, that's why America has lost its sovereignty mm. because we're no longer American. Now we're this American, that American, mm -hmm. Asian American. Don't divide me up. When I go to McDonald's, they don't have an African American menu. 
mm-hmm. would probably be nice if they had some. But anyway, uh, <laughs> but anyway, like actual so, real so, so, some real ribs on a, <laughs> on a burger. But uh, you know, I, I I can't stand it. You know, my children I always told my children, it does not matter what a race you are. It matters how hard you work and what you do. Mm-hmm. I, and I think, and even if you want to take this uh, <clears throat> a switch to the the sixties, they were very big on uh, being the best you could be. Mm-hmm. They 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 the the parents instilled in yeah you you there's a a, a glass ceiling then yeah but you still strive to do your best you still strive in education yeah. you still strive whatever it is and there seems to be a lack. In that we're okay with the thug yeah. right now, uh-huh. we, we're okay with, with with gold chains and 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 fake a, a, at that. We're okay with looking and perpetrating this 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 culture, this hip hop culture. We're okay with that, but Black Lives Matter. But yeah. when hip hop says that your women are B's and H's and this yeah. that and the other, uh-huh. then oh well, now that's just art. Yeah. See, we have to stop the hypocrisy. Mm. Mm. You you you're not going to you're not going to get me wound up for for uh, wanting to protest and all of this. And we are self defeating. Yeah. We're doing this to ourselves. Mm. Uh, speaking of which, um, uh, I was on my way to church this morning yeah. and listening to these. It was a video called uh, the ten most worst or powerful drugs. Wow. And uh one of which they said I can't even think of the name of Flocka. it, but but it's it, it, Flocka was on that on oh, that okay. list, but the 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 top one had you you in it's you inject yourself like heroin with uh a mixture of eye drops, mm. gasoline and something else. It was something ridiculous. D- d- straight demonic, but in doing that, when you do that, you start to uh, eat away at your own tissue. Mm-hmm. So each time you get your high, you're actually dying. That crocodile. Yes. Crocodile. Yes. Caused That's by it. the deteriorate. I said, I'm going, I'm coming to church this morning. I'm like, who in the world? But that's deception. It's strong delusion, brother. I have never heard of such a Get in my your life. high and die. You know? It, uh, uh, it was a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was a certain movie that I saw when I when I was uh, growing up, and I don't recommend nobody go and watch said movie. But in this movie, these guys were using drugs, and one guy took a hit of the joint, and he starts choking, and he's on the ground flopping around, foaming at the mouth, and the other guy is looking in concern, and they stopped and said, "Wait a second, I want some of that." And so even though they saw the effects of it, Mm. they knew, well, if it's that good where it's going to make me flop around the ground, I want some of it. Mm. Strong delusion. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, I had never heard of Flocka. Mm -hmm. I had never heard of Flocka. And uh, uh, apparently thousands have either, they're they're either thousands have died from it or at least there are a thousand cases of it. Uh, And it's spreading, uh, supposedly like wildfire. Uh, fire all across America, and it sends these. When you look at the 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 the, the people that are doing it, they it's clearly demonic. Mm. I mean, people that's, that's rolling around on the streets, they are uh, growling and screaming, mm. and and I said, what in the world? Yeah, it's demonic. Yes, it opens up. That that gateway into your spirit, where those demons can enter in. There is no, I mean, there is nothing godly about that. And for you to get to a point, there is something I know. When I was growing up, and you can attest to it, we're the same age. When we saw crackheads, mm. we knew what a crackhead was. Yeah. We could see a crackhead. We could see what it does to your life. So we could say, I don't want to smoke crack. Mm-hmm. Because we know what the reputation is, how it looks. It's not one of these cool party drugs like mm-hmm. marijuana or cocaine where mm-hmm. you can look hip doing it. You know, crackheads, there that's the guy on the street corner who's dirty and smelly selling a VCR, mm-hmm. right? So we know that. So, But this generation sees it. They know what it does. But in their mind, it won't happen to them. Mm. And that's where the deception is. That's where, that's where the lie is. Right. And... Th- how can you get to the point where you can see truth and just disregard it? Mm-hmm. You're, you're, 
this culture is, is very pagan in nature. It, it, it's almost reprobate. I don't, but for the fact that I know nothing is impossible for God, mm-hmm. I would almost say we're done for. Yeah. I would almost say that because the if you just look at it through the natural lens, but understanding our God's ability and and what he's done in our lives and mm-hmm. what he's done for others and what he's done historically through his word, we know that this is supposed to happen. Yeah. We know that it's supposed to happen, but it's still shocking yeah. to, to see and hear some of the stuff that, that is coming out of our airwaves. Okay, in Romans chapter 1. And I'd love to read the whole chapter, but I don't, I don't know if we have that kind of time. But Romans chapter 1, verse 24, it says, Wherefore God, wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. You know, when it says God gave them up, when we, we talk about uh, 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 2 Thessalonians, when it says God shall send mm-hmm. strong delusions, mm-hmm. people miss that part. Mm-hmm. It's not just strong delusion just didn't pop up. God allowed that level of, of uh, delusion or deception to come mm-hmm. upon them because they didn't want to know the truth. Right. Right. You know, when your mama tell you, go ahead and go out there and see what happens. She mm-hmm. tell you not to go around the street corner past 6 o'clock. And, and, and you like, well, I'm going to the street corner anyway because I don't care what mama got to say. Mm-hmm. I want to hang out with Big Bubba and them. You go over there and Big Bubba and them go all upside your head because mm-hmm. mama allowed that. She knew you were going. She saw you out the window. But since you didn't obey, mm-hmm. she allowed that thing to overtake you. And that's what we're seeing right now in this nation when you, when you have a person like Hillary Clinton. You know, being being uh, uh, one of the only one of the two nominees, two major nominees to go into the White House, that is terrifying. And and to 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 hear some of the some of the stuff, I mean, you can go on YouTube and find the stuff where she says one thing and then it's clearly a lie. Mm-hmm. It's clearly a lie. She short circuited, brother. It, brother, I I was I happened to be. <laughs> Uh, flipping through the channels, mm-hmm. and uh, Comey, the the FBI director, yeah. was giving his speech, his spiel on whether or not he was going to indict her or not. Yeah, and he's going on and on and on, and I'm saying to myself, he ain't gonna do it because why does it take that long to get to the point? Yeah, why? Because he's laying out the evidence of her wrongdoing. Mm-hmm. Anybody else, he's even said it. Anybody else. Nobody else at at the State Department better do that, cause they'll they, go to jail. They, yeah, they're gonna get hit. They're gonna go to jail. But her, she made my pockets fat. Oh no, nah, we we we, you know, it, because it wasn't her intent. Yeah, yeah. She didn't intend to lie. She didn't intend to to to, to defraud, and she I, we didn't see the intent. Well, I don't remember uh, uh, the cop giving me um, respite. Because you didn't intend. Because I, I didn't intend. <laughs> yeah. I, I I went over the speed limit. Take it here. Yeah, and you know uh, another thing they brought up was her was her uh, uh, convenience. Mm. She did those illegal acts because it was more convenient. Well, it, <laughs> it would be more convenient for me to go into a, a bank and hold up a twelve gauge shotgun and say, "Hey, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to work twelve hours a day." Hook a brother up with all the money. That's convenient. Brother, I can I can take the bag, put it in my trunk, go home, and I don't even have to work. Brother, it's a store right here. I want, I, I want Twinkies. <laughs> I want a Twinkie right now. Yeah, it would be convenient to just go and 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 tell them and just just take it like like just Michael Brown. That's right. You know, Black uh, Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. That's right. Hoorah! Yeah. And just walk out. And in doing such, you'll probably be spreading the gospel like that guy said, right? Brother, with 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 cheering Thanksgiving. Yeah. It's just it's, it's it's deception on a high order, and Satan is the god of this world. Yes, he is. That's what people don't get. And then when you have Christians that do not, they will not spread the gospel. I don't care what it takes. You don't hear them talk about Jesus. They don't have a moral standing. The only thing they care about is who's going to be in the next play at their church and uh, who's going to be doing the next mind move. Oh yeah, you know and. What did he say in the scripture? He said, it's going to be those that say, Lord, did not do this, did not do that. He's Mm -hmm. going to say, depart from me, ye that work with iniquity. I never Mm -hmm. knew you. That's right. And it's going to be a lot of them. I hate to say it. I'm sorry if you're getting offended. It's going to be a lot of them black churches going to be some of the ones doing that. Yep. 
Lord, I, I didn't didn't I put on the good gospel play for you? Didn't didn't we raise money by selling chicken plates? <laughs> he didn't tell you to sell no chicken plates. Mm -hmm. He said, "Go therefore and preach the gospel." Mm -hmm. To, uh, telling what the uh, t talking about the uh, Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and the salvation, preaching the gospel of repentance. Go forth and do that. Right. Healing, feeding the poor. Uh, do that. But all this marching up down the streets and having these gay pride parades and lying and stealing and cheating and getting mad because somebody hurts your widow feelings. Wrong. Yeah, and if you're going to talk about chicken, talk about that cock that crowed uh, three times oh, when yes. Peter denied. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, right. that's, that's the chicken talk that's going to that be chicken. going on. Yeah. Because uh, a lot of people are going to be playing chicken when when the when the heat really hits and, and uh, that, 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 that spirit of, of, of lawlessness that the Bible talks about really hits America because mm -hmm. it's coming. Uh, then people are going to be bowing out talking about they still for Jesus. Mm -hmm. But when, when, when the heat hit them, you know, they're going to deny too. Yeah. So, I mean, I... I Unless you have something else, I... but you know the the, the the chapter, the chapter one of Romans, verse twenty one. Mm -hmm. It says, "Because when they knew God, they glorified Him not as God; mm -hmm. neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their heart and, the fool. and their foolish mm -hmm. heart was darkened." Mm -hmm. it, 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 I'm gonna read that again. Because that when they knew God, they glorified Him not as God. Mm -hmm. You know, God has become a, 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 a byword or mm. something to get people into your church. Mm. God said, mm. God didn't say that. Mm. God wants me to take. God don't want him to tell you that. Mm -hmm. But now it's become something to get people into the church. Uh, uh, who The new gospel singer. Go, what, God's property, that's what they called him. Uh, uh, <laughs> with my boy, Kirk Franklin. Put your hands together. Yeah, yeah. This guy's a homosexual. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's true. It's true. They asked him about it on the radio, so he danced around that like he was uh, Fred Astaire. Yeah, oh. yeah. He tapped. He ta He did a lot of tapping. He on tapped that around one. that one. Yeah. Uh, I, speaking of 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 not glorifying God, I I came across this this uh, series. I've not watched the show, but it 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 piqued my interest because of how it's how it looks. Uh, this, the TV Land series Impastor, mm -hmm. where they have a man playing an imp he, he's playing the role of a gay or homosexual minister who um, he it, it, it's it's just while ungodly and the, and the fact of the matter is. Where is the church in rebuking stuff like this? Mm. And then this, so this got me to thinking. Well, I wonder which which Christian denominations have accepted uh, homosexuality as mm -hmm. a viable or quote unquote godly lifestyle, and th the numbers was was up there way more. Okay, so we know Catholicism wicked, uh, but we also have uh, the Anglican Church, uh, which is. Capitulated to the Lutheran. It, uh, the Lutheran Church, the Presbyterian Baptist. Church, Epis Episcopal. Uh, Baptist is half and half, but there is a faction of mm -hmm. uh, those that are Baptists that are going along with it. And it's like, can you show me where God accepted that in the Bible? Mm hmm. Destruction came for people that that practice that particular lifestyle. Now you can twist the words however you want, mm -hmm. but. I'm gonna stick with what the what the words say. You know what's amazing is when they come up with these shows. You talking about preachers of L.A. and mm, they oh got uh, Mary Mary. They got them. They have, I don't know if they still have it, but I know they had a show. Uh, I think they're still. On they it. still got it. They got a little show. Uh, uh, preachers of Atlanta, whatever shows they come with these preachers, and there was actually tailored for. Uh, not only for people who just want to see what it's like to be a pastor, but also people who are churchy folks. Mm. You know, so mm. a lot of black churches, I guarantee you those folks, everything got to do with Tyler Perry, they know about it. <laughs> boy, they love some Tyler <laughs> Perry out there fighting a good fight, dressed like a woman. Okay. <laughs> and, and then you got uh, uh, all these shows. They had uh, Cedric the Entertainer. He's oh. playing a preacher on the show. Yes. So all yes. these shows, what that does is, 
not only does it it, it allow people who don't want to serve Christ mm-hmm. to say, look, that's how they are. That's why I don't go to church. But it casts a bad light on the church and what the church is supposed to be and what the church is supposed to stand for. Mm-hmm. And so it, it's it's a travesty and it's very, uh, it's wicked. It's yes. wicked to a high degree. It's very bell like And what I mean by that is uh, in the worship of Baal, they had aspects that were religious so it seemed godly but there was so much intertwined with it that was not of God so you have this 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 secular meeting uh, 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 that which is godly or which which is holy and trying to merge it and the 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 average Christian today don't see the difference. Mm-hmm. In fact, if you actually, they'll get mad for it. Once this gets put out, they'll oh. get mad at us. We'll, yeah. start, we'll start getting some They'll, some, they'll some click off after five minutes of the <laughs> right, <'cause, laughs> video start. Yeah, because they don't know the truth. I ask them how much word they read. Well, you know, it's also the degree of not wanting to know it. Right. You know, you could tell somebody the truth and they will hear it and they'll have a yeah but after it. It's just like concerning the, one of our favorite subjects we keep going back to, Hillary Clinton. You tell people the truth and they yell, yeah, but, yell, yeah, but, mm-hmm. yell, yeah, but. So you don't care what the truth is right. as long as you have uh, uh, something to supplant the truth mm-hmm. that you could enjoy or that could pet your feelings or whatever. You know, it's it's amazing. And it's very uh, 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 groupthink. Oh, yeah. So, as long as I got somebody else agreeing with me, mm-hmm. and it's a lot of people, then you know, then we must be right. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Well, tell that to uh, ha, ha, the the Amalekites. Tell that to uh, the Edomites, who who went against God's people. It was a lot of them. They 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 got wiped out. God is not in in the business of capitulating to man's wants and needs and what he desires. Mm-hmm. He wishes to be worshipped. He wishes us to be holy. That's the standard. That's right. You know, I, I as, a, as a man of God, as a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I don't worry about what's going on. I don't. I know I have a mission. I'm going to die one day. I have a mission to serve Christ. And, and, and when I'm dead, and when I when he comes back, he can say, "Well done, my faithful servant." That's my mission, and I don't walk around every day concerned about ISIS and all these different things that mm. pop up. I don't walk around worried about that because I know God is in control. Amen. I know that since I'm anchored in Christ, that if I die tomorrow, I know when I wake up, I'm going to heaven. Amen. So that's not my concern. But what what I do want to do. And what we're doing is we want to let you know what the truth is. We want to let you know what the truth is above all things. And we want you to desire to know the truth. This book here, people say it was written a long time ago, and it was. But it's the truth. And and it, and, and, and it's, you know, kept people through many generations. Because Christ is real. Uh, I, I, that's that's going to be the last thing I say. And I'm going to let... Uh, Minister Johnson, I'm going to let you end that off. Okay. If there is anything that we have said that maybe you don't agree with or you didn't like or maybe you didn't understand, we're human beings. We're men. Come challenge us. Challenge us. Now, when you challenge, I want you to bring your word with you. Amen. Because this is the the, the binoculars that we're going to be talking about. Uh, I'll be looking through. Mm-hmm. Because I don't want to hear about why I feel. And, and, and that is a lot of what I see uh, people do. When they don't agree with what the word says, they go to their personal feelings and emotions as if God cares about any of that. Nobody asks you. You don't have a book in this Bible. So the best that we can do is read it, ask for understanding of what it is, and ask. And if we're struggling in something, ask God for help uh, to complete that task. Um, I, we could probably go on for, for a few more hours, but we're going to end it here. Uh, I thank you for listening. Uh, feel free to give us a shout out at any time Um, and like I said earlier at the beginning we're going to be doing this more frequently Uh, we have a a production team behind us now first up first time it was just (laughs) me and and brother Whitehill 
Uh, but we're so thankful for yeah, you to uh, hear. Uh, we want to hear your views. We want to hear uh, uh, what you think. Uh, so feel free to uh, contact us. Hey, man, and you can contact us. You can also view our videos on uh, on YouTube. Uh, go to the Wadham Church channel, No Dice, W-O-D-M. Go there. You, we got all our sermons. We we also encourage you to, uh, we also uh, stream live on Ustream. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go to Word of Deliverance Ministry Church. That's our, that's our, uh, that's, where you, that's where you'll find us at. And our username is S.A. Wadham Church. And we, we encourage you, go listen. Uh, if you don't agree with something, that's fine. Like this brother mentioned, email us, call us. We're located at 123 Goliad Road, San Antonio, Texas. I don't care what country you're in right now. Well, I do. It depends on what. Anyway, <laughs> come come and, and visit us. Come and, and get to know Christ on a higher level and and uh, continue to study and learn his word. This has been the quick and word. God bless you, brother. I thank you. Um, thank you out there, and I hope you have been enlightened today. Amen. Amen.